What do you think we could expect from the EFF going forward into this new term? I think that the EFF has been largely quite unexpected. I think once you think that you have figured it all out, then you obviously haven't. Um, I think that this actually is a great opportunity for them to actually show themselves as an alternative. Um, I know that there's a lot of views about the ANC and the DA going into this, if you want, wish, calling it a pact. But this, um, like, uh, grouping with the IFP and others. And I think that with this move, I think that the EFF will now start um, building on the political rhetoric, uh, showing themselves as an alternative. I think we'll be seeing a lot more messaging in terms of selling out, in terms of um, not representing the people and so on. Um, I think that they had a vested interest in terms of the ANC who may be forming a coalition with them, given that they had their sights seen on uh, specific positions. And I think that given that that didn't happen, that this alternative um, formation obviously is against its will. I think we'll be seeing a lot more politicking. Mm. Uh, we, of course, can't have this conversation without talking about the Mkonto Wisizwe party. We know that its leader, Jacob Zuma, is expected to have a briefing tomorrow afternoon. They boycotted the first sitting uh, yesterday. And the jury's out on whether or not that was the right strategic <laughs> move on their part. Where do you stand on them? And, and what do you think we could expect from them going forward? Um, again, like uh, the EFF leader, I think that the MK party's leader, uh, the former president, is a wild card. I think that most of his moves are quite unexpected. Um, I think that this was quite strategic on their part. I think that they have been quite um, vocal about their dislike or dismay of how things went down. 